A Clarity of Smog. Nine days in Japan, and already you're a megalomaniac, drunk on the fame of being slightly apart. Back home there are bushfires and the test on TV, but here you're in the manic phase of a bipolar new year. Even getting off the train at the wrong station when you can't read the signage and no one speaks your mother tongue doesn't phase you. A divine messenger disguised as a middle level clerk tells you that the train to Mega is next door, next door. You're completely alone in your iPod universe as Anthony sings Everything is New in the space between your ears. And you walk the winter grey concrete streets of mega shikama, houses and steel, smokestacks beside a river tamed with cement. Refinery pipes, mega pylons and supporting arcs of cable inscribed from some point above and triangulations of scaffolding infrastructure, your artificial horizon. You know in your bones that the sun rising red through smog is rising just for you. And despite photochemical haze, there's a clarity like individual rainbow ice crystals refulgent on dead rice stalks beneath your feet. The day is new. Those birds you pass have migrated from Siberia to forage for insects between the backstreet cabbages at this precise second for your entertainment alone. You love each moment, like now and this one, now. The entire day is unfolding. You don't need a God when the universe is so perfect and self-organized. Each day dripping into the vast pool of days spent. Occasionally, we find ourselves at an intersection where any choice will be the right one.